It is Tuesday, October 5th. Welcome to Menace of Sports. I am Zach Smith, your host, also a former employee of Urban Meyer, who was fired by Urban conveniently and coincidentally now as new details have emerged in Bootygate, right? Urban Meyer is caught on video, I guess, getting grinded on by a girl. And this is national news, big news, huge scandal. Urban Meyer had a drink, might have been a little intoxicated, and a hot chick rubbed on him. And it is the world, I mean, it broke Facebook, let's be honest. But if you stay till the end of this video, we're gonna, I'm going to detail some never before, before heard uh, details of what happened in the 24 hours after Urban Meyer found out about this viral video and some of the stuff that went on with the girl who shot the video. Really uh, interesting stuff. But, but I want to talk about this video first and foremost. Let's go to the timeline, right? There was an initial video of some girl dancing in front of and then moving back and rubbing her butt on Urban Meyer's arm and his hand might have been in, in, in an inappropriate place that's left for viewer discretion, right? And the question that I had after I watched it was, why the fuck do we care, right? The One, the initial video was fairly innocent on Urban's part. Like, could he have gotten up and walked away? Sure. But did he sit there and bend the girl over and, and, and make her see God? No. Like, I don't know why we're so concerned about Urban getting his arm rubbed on by a random girl's butt. And then... The second part of this, the second thing I thought is, who the fuck are we to judge what and know what kind of relationship Urban Meyer is in? Now, I happen to know it is certainly a committed and loving relationship, and it's a, a monogamous relationship, but it's 2021. For all you know, his wife lets him go out and have fun, do what he wants, and she might do the same, right? And I, I, like I said, I know that's not the case, but why are we making a big deal of this? What if that's perfectly normal in their household? And three, some people are screaming that I have to call them a Martian because they identify as someone from Mars. Those same people are going to judge Urban Meyer and his decisions and, and, and are not going to acknowledge the fact that he could have a different lifestyle than their own and that it's not wrong. Like what, is, what, what in that video was morally wrong? Right. If, if he was some phenom coach right now and was four and oh, the question I have for you in the comments below is, would we care? Yes or no? If he was four and oh, would, would anyone give a shit? Right. Because if I'm not mistaken, Joey Freshwater's actual alias or actual persona in Lane Kiffin is still coaching at Ole Miss, isn't he? He was banging girls at Alabama left and right, cheated on his wife. Eddie Orgeron had a bunch of pictures taken with co-eds, and he's still the coach at LSU. Now, he might get fired because he's losing, but not because he was hanging out with co-eds or bumping and grinding. <laughs> Bobby Petrino was banging a chick in the, in the administration department at Arkansas. Granted, he got fired, but he was the head coach at Louisville not long after that, right? Major Applewhite was railing one of his students Student trainers. He got to be a head coach later. And let's not forget, Bill Belichick had a full-blown mistress of years, a relationship that his wife knew about and eventually, eventually divorced him over. He had a full-blown relationship with another woman. Sean Payton had an ongoing mistress just in 2011, right? Same time he has, as he had Bounty Gate going on, he had extramarital booty gate going on. So I don't understand. Why is this an issue? Why are we talking about it? I bet Nick Saban would have an affair if that guy even liked the fuck. I mean, I think he only likes to coach football and like pound his face into the wall. I, I don't understand. People don't, here's the reality. People don't care about this shit. They don't care about Urban, you know, sticking his 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 hand on a girl's butt. They don't care about that. They only care about perspective and the media mob in this moment, right? They they want they want to fire people to appease the media mob and end the coverage, right? End the Jaguar logo from being on ESPN. That's the only reason people care about this right now. That and they have this disdain for Urban Meyer, right? And then the apology. Let's listen to what Urban had to say. Yeah, yeah I just apologize to the team and staff and uh, for being a distraction, just stupid. Um, and so I explained everything that happened and owned it, and you know, just a stupid. Uh, should not have myself in that kind of position. Urban, did you did you fly back with the team, or did you stay in? Um, no, I stayed night? to see the grandkids, and we all went to dinner that night at the restaurant. And then there's a big group next to our restaurant, and they wanted me to come over and take pictures, and I did. And, and they were trying to pull me out on the dance floor, screwing around, and I should have left. How did the team react? I mean, they're pretty, probably pretty uh reactionary or, you know, how did they take it, your apology? Well, I've always been so defensive of them. You know, I remember when Trevor told me he was going to go to Vegas for his 
bachelor party. I mean, I was just, my gosh, man, be careful and surround yourself and because I've seen this happen. And, uh, and I just, so the team, the team uh, I spoke to a bunch of leaders one-on-one, -on -one, spoke to all the players. Uh, they're good. They were focused on Tennessee. And I apologized again for being a distraction. And uh, a coach should not be a distraction. So he said she, they were trying to get him on the dance floor to screw around. I'm, I'm gonna be, Okay, Herbs, I'm going to be honest. I had no problem with the video. I had no problem with what he did. Nor do I think anyone should give a shit until he started talking, right? Until he spoke. I mean, the guy just can't take accountability. He didn't mention a girl. He didn't mention the girl. And I mean, it is what it is. But I mean, it's, it's all right, man. You're a dude. You have a dick. You were out, had a couple too many drinks, made a mistake. All good. But wait, and then there's more. There was a second shooter. There was another angle, another clip, right? This time, it looks like Urban's going knuckle deep in the, inside the girl, one of her orifices. And now it's like, oh God, here we go again. Rerun the headlines for another 24 to 48 hours, right? The reality is this, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. I remember when the investigation happened into me and Urban's wife was, we know Zach has a drinking problem. I'm scared of, of how, how he's going to react. He's going out at night. Yeah, people in glass houses shells probably shouldn't throw stones, huh? You probably should take your white wig off and worry about what's in your own home. That's the reality. This is a private matter that I shouldn't be making a video about. We shouldn't even be talking about. That's the reality of the today's day and age, right? Thou shalt not wear a white wig and only God can judge me. The biggest problem of all of it is Urban's acting like this is a bigger deal than it, than it is. He's blowing it out of proportion. He's, I mean, coaches cheat on wives. I've been around hundreds of them and that's not even what he did to our knowledge, right? He might not have cheated on his wife, but Coaches across the country cheat on their wives all the time. None of them get fired for it until the media blows it up, and then they don't get fired for cheating. They get fired to stop the firestorm that the media creates, right? Right now, Urban's on the verge, if he hasn't already, of losing all credibility with anyone in the media, his players, because he's walking around with droopy ears and his tail tucked between his legs, trying to minimize what it was. Like, dude, you made a mistake. You got sauced and a smoking hot chick 30 years younger than you wanted the sausage. Like, shit happens. We get it. Players are laughing now. Media is blowing it out of proportion. And here's what I don't understand. Why does the media hate Urban Meyer so much? I've been around coaches across the industry. And there's far worse men and people than Urban Meyer. I mean, he's a God-fearing, good person. He really is. He's mortal. He's human. He's imperfect. He made a mistake. He's made many other mistakes, right? I've yet to meet someone who hasn't. Now, the reaction was a little ridiculous, right? The girl shot the video because she thought it was crazy and funny. Took it home, showed her husband. He was like, holy shit, that's Urban Meyer, right? He texts it to his group chat with friends, and then they text it to other group chats. And this is how the firestorm starts. Once it started, the staff and Chris Corso from Urban Meyer's Pint House went to the surveillance footage, identified the girl who took the video, got her contact information, and started I won't say harassing, but calling her over a dozen times in the first 24 hours. I don't know what they're calling about, what they expect. What are they going to ban the poor girl because Urban was getting his bump and grind on? But that is the type of shit that goes on when you're a high profile person like Urban Meyer. So that's just my two cents in this in the situation. Wanted to throw it out there. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment below. Do you think Urban Meyer is going to be the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars? I don't know, by at the end of the year, let alone next year. At the end of the year, will he still be the head coach? Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next episode.